It's showtime! Hey, what's up, guys? Pitfall 7 here, back with another reaction video. This time, it's to Citizen Soldier's newest song, Let Down. Now, I, I'm going to say I don't remember any um, previews for this one, but I'm definitely excited to hear this one on a Facebook group that I'm uh, that I'm in the Citizen Soldier Citizen Soldier Militia I think I think it's called I'd need to go back and relook at the name but it's like a giant Citizen Soldier fan group I have heard everyone in there talking only positive things about this song so really making me excited for this let's check it out L E D D O W N. Okay. Let me pull you down into the place I'm in. Oh, I like how that started. Church of oh, it's this one. This was such a unique sound for Citizen Soldier. Someone in the comments, let me know in case in case I'm blanking on it. 
Has there been another fucking song from these guys that has sounded like this? Just let me know in the comments if so, my because my mind is blanking on it, but... <laughs> I, I want to go back through this. I may not stop and talk about a lot of this stuff, but I want to go back through this just in case. L E D D O W N. Don't let me pull you down into the place I'm in. You know, right off the bat, I already, I already do like that of the. Don't let me pull you down to the place I'm in. Like, I genuinely like that. Because you don't want to drag others down with you. Church of failure, I'm the martyr. I got the touch, the curse, the wine, and the water. Wrote the Bible, I'm the author of how to disappoint your mother and your father. Oof. <laughs> One, I love the line of, I've got the touch that can turn wine into water. Like, I, I love that line. I can't describe why, I, why that line hits so hard to me, because I, I just can't explain it. But, and then, I wrote the Bible, I'm the author of how to disappoint your mother and your father. Fuck, dude. Damn. As someone who has felt like a disappointment to my parents my entire life, especially after they divorced, and I was led to believe it was my fault by some people by some people in my life, and maybe not necessarily mom and dad, but other people, I was led to believe it was my fault. I get that. There's nobody better than me at ruining everything. And I, I love that line as well. There's nobody better than me at ruining everything. Because when you, when, like, like even the description says, do you self-deprecate to cope? Yes, I do. So self-deprecation is how I cope with everything in my life, with my depression and everything. I mean, hell, for Shattered Souls, we're writing a song called Self-Deprecation. But it's one, of, it's one of those things of when when you're constantly shitting on yourself, you feel like you ruin absolutely everything in your life. And I feel like that a lot myself sometimes. Cause I'm a let down, don't put your faith in me I'm a burnout, in the third degree I'll get your hopes down high, then I'll kill them dead So expect the worst, then a little less Okay. Specifically that last line, the last part of the course. I'll get your hopes sky high, then I'll kill them dead So expect the worst, then a little less. Yeah, with... With constant self-deprecation, that's exactly what you do. Like, you feel like you're going to get people's hopes sky high. And then just completely disappoint them. So you basically tell them to expect the worst out of you. And then add a little more on onto there. And sorry if you guys see me rubbing my hand a lot. Fucking mosquitoes. Love it. Okay, and I like that. I, I'm a letdown, I've got my own gravity, so don't let it pull you down with me. Because while you are self-deprecating, you don't want to drag others down with you. And I love that. Like, I, like that is like the perfect um, way to say that. Like, it is the perfect way to say that. And also, I like in the, um, with the, with the, I'll get your hopes sky high and kill them dead. I love the 
the like effect of the gun. Let me pull you down into the place I'm in. I'm the prophet of getting captured by core beliefs that kill your slow just like a cancer. I'll blame the whole world, cause I'm the master of playing victim, but I'm true as just an actor. <coughs> Damn. Like Obviously, with self-deprecation, you blame yourself for a lot of things. At least I do. I'm not going to speak on everyone who who has issues with self-deprecation. My own personal issues with self-deprecation is I blame myself for a lot of things. But there's been times where I've even blamed the world. Like, and I've blamed God. Like... A lot of the times when I was, when everything was really bad before I restarted my faith walk to get to where I am with it now, my, my favorite, quote unquote favorite thing to say was, if, if God really loved me and he was there, and if God was really there for me, then why would he do, why would he put me in these situations? Why would he want my life to be an absolute living hell? And I liked... I liked one particular line here as well. But I'm Judas just an actor. For anyone who doesn't who for anyone who doesn't know, Judas is the person who who betrayed Jesus in, in the Bible which led him to get arrested and then crucified. So when you're so that to me is saying that you yourself calling yourself Judas like betraying yourself is is how I interpret that. There's nobody better than me at ruining everything. There's nobody better than me. Cause I'm a letdown, so much of faith in me I'm a burnout, in the third degree I'll get your hopes sky high, then I'll kill him dead So it's that the works, then a little less I'm a letdown, I got my own gravity Don't let it pull ya, down to the bottom with me I'll get your hopes sky high, then I'll kill him dead So it's that the works, then a little less Okay. When it comes to this bridge, I'm a liar when you need trust, a cheater when you need love. I, with my own personal struggles with self-deprecation I see that as saying that about myself like I myself I'm a liar to myself when I need to trust in myself and I'm a cheater to myself when I need love that's how I see it again I I can't even begin to speak or even dare to speak about anyone else who suffers with self-deprecation or anything like that. I can't begin to speak about other people's experiences with it and how they will see this song. This is just how I see the song. Okay, now I'm a danger 
when you need safe. Again, I see that about myself because all it, realistically, there are a lot of dangerous people out there in the world, but the most dangerous person to yourself is yourself, in my mind. But then a clinger when you need space, I'm very fucking guilty of that. I, to where, admittedly, it's gotten... It's one of the reasons... If any of my friends see this video, th this will explain things for you guys on why I go silent a lot of the time. Because... Because I've had so many issues in the past where... I have clung to people when I need them, when they don't want, when they just need space. I've had issues of even just unintentionally not giving them that space that they need. And it, that has caused me to just not distance myself from my friends, but like be very inactive especially when i'm in need of help it makes me very inactive because of the fact that i've had issues with that in the past and i don't want to worry my friends or make it seem like i'm clinging on to them when they need space so i unintent i i intentionally but also unintentionally pull myself away and just go silent for a while. So if any of my friends are watching this video, that's why I do that. I apologize. I am genuinely trying to get better at it, but it's a work in progress. Trust me. God, my brothers and sisters, I hate myself. How that is how I have felt for fucking years, dude. Like fucking years. I'm getting better at it again. I'm getting a lot better at that stuff, but it's one of those things of no matter how well you're able to get better at some of this stuff. A lot of that stuff is still going to be constantly deep down inside you. Like, I'm, I don't dislike myself as much as I used to, but I still say I fucking hate myself because I do. But I'm getting better at it personally. Like, I'm doing my best to get better at it, especially if I want to be happy. I can't keep hating myself. But yeah, all in all, from everything to do with Icarus, all the tracks we've gotten from Icarus so far, um, this is by far my favorite, one of my favorites. I can't say my absolute favorite because with that, it's very much a... Uh, tie between um obviously where were you let down and everybody hates you F for the ones that i'm constantly thinking of dead in life is another absolute great one there's never a citizen soldier song i'm going to dislike or say is my least favorite and same with and same with rock bottom but ones that have impacted me the absolute most have been um let down where were you and everybody hates you 
because where were you? I feel like I felt like I've been abandoned. I have been abandoned by people before, so that hits me hard. Let down strictly, pardon, hiccups, I hate them. Let down strictly because of the self-deprecation aspect of it. I do that all the time. And then everybody hates you. Constantly overthinking. I do that more than I care to admit. And I hate it. But yeah. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to the rest of what Icarus has to offer, but... Yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching this. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. It's got a Gary and John. XE Hexic Guy and Flows links in the description. Follow me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash pitifulalloy7. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'm pitifulalloy7, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out! Cause I'm a letdown. Don't put your faith in me. I'm a burnout in the third degree. I'll get your hopes down.